Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends, welcome back to the Pisces portal. This is going to be a general reading for Pisces Collective, so it might resonate, it might not. Pisces, we are going to take a look at what awaits us this week. So the first card we have here is Sacred Action, Decisive Focus. Okay, Pisces, so this week you are going to take action with something that you've probably been wanting to do for some time now. And I feel like this week you're finally going to have the the energy and wherewithal and focus to do whatever needs to be done, okay? Because whatever this is, this is something that is very important, but it's also something that, um, you know, spirit has been kind of egging you to move towards for some time now. And you may have delayed taking this action because you maybe felt like the timing wasn't right or you didn't have enough support but you have support, okay, from your spirit guides. Okay, let's see what this one is sticking out. So this is um, Eclipse in Libra, Rebalance, Reevaluate Relationships, Justice, and Fair Play, okay? So maybe this week, you'll be addressing some concerns that you've had in your relationships, okay? This could be in work, um, th this could be romantic or with your family, but this week something is truly going to be addressed and come to the surface um, between you and some people that are important to you, okay? For a lot of you, I definitely feel like this could be romantic, okay? You wanting to find some balance in, you know, a very sacred union, okay? Wow, second chance. Mm, this relationship deserves a second chance. So, Pisces, I'm also getting to that, you know, if you're not the one who really feels up to trying to give a connection a second chance, somebody is definitely thinking about that with you, okay? Somebody wants to make things better than they are or than they were. Okay, and you know, Spirit is saying this this relationship deserves a second chance. So let's see what else we get here. Oh, we have compassion. Okay, so <laughs> in order for you and someone to have a second chance, there definitely needs to be some compassion expressed between the two of you, okay? Um, understanding where the other person is coming from, why things maybe got to the point that, you know, they're at now, and how both of you can overcome where it is that you've been. also have protection. Wow. So know that in the midst of all of this that you are protected. I'm also getting to that um, Pisces, some of you, you know, you could be um, expecting, you know, to have a child. But I'm also getting to that there are a lot of, you know, ideas in your mind that you want to take action on even beyond this um, relationship, okay? Okay. 
I'm also seeing too that having compassion towards this other person um, and also them being compassionate towards you, it helps to really kind of seal and protect that relationship as well, to protect it from negative um, energies and influences, okay? Because if you both are on the same page and there's a sense of understanding and compassion shared between the two of you, then no one else can really come in and intervene with their opinion or any negative things, you know, that they want to project onto the relationship. We have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, okay? So, <laughs> I think in reconnecting with someone or even if this is a, you know, a partner that you're currently with, you live with, you could be married to, okay? Um, something that's going to help bring balance back into the relationship is looking at the good, the good in that person, how you are both good for one another, okay? And even focusing on the good things that the both of you want to do in the future, okay? And again, here I'm seeing, you know, like, compassion, protection, love. So um, I really feel like, <laughs> you know, this is a sacred connection between you and someone. It's just that both of you need to be mature enough to recognize that and to do something about it in order to protect it and maintain it. Okay. Let's see what other messages we have. <laughs> Again, <laughs> the scared beetle spirit magic works through you. Okay, Pisces. So, spirit is giving you the energy and again that wherewithal to take the action that you need to when it comes to um, finding balance in a relationship. Excuse me. I also think that when it comes to focusing on the good, you know that there's like something magical about you and this person being together, okay? Which is why it's important for you to, you know, take this quote unquote sacred action and to really be focused on the important things um, that need to be addressed, okay? Not the trivial and petty stuff, you know, like the real deal here. Let's see. Wow. So we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I think, you know, you've been focused within on trying to get things realigned within yourself. And now you're trying to get things realigned with your soulmate, okay? You might call this person, okay, literally, or this person might, you know, call you in order for the both of you to fix things, okay? Okay, so we have rejection. It's not you. So don't reject yourself. Rejection is divine intervention. Okay, and then we also have like that protection. So you might have felt rejected by your soulmate in some way, shape, or form, but spirit is saying that it was a form of divine intervention. Okay, um, there may have been some things that spirit had to work with this person on, okay, and now they're in a better place to be able to, um, give this relationship the attention that it really deserves. I'm also getting to that this person could have felt rejected by you as well, okay? But please take it how it resonates, of course. Okay. 
Yeah, we have contentment here, Pisces. I think all you want is for you and this person to have a sense of contentment within um, this relationship, okay? Let's see. I think you wonder too, you know, um, especially if you felt rejected by this person, you wonder if you are or if you were enough for them. But I feel as if you are Pisces. I just think that this person, there were some things within themselves that they had to realign and come to terms with, okay? Um, some things that really needed to be tweaked and adjusted within their consciousness before they could really um, have the kind of relationship with you that, again, that you're deserving of, okay? romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection so you know i think again this week someone um is going to try to be rom more romantic towards you okay this person might call you they might send you a text wanting to you know see if you're free so that the two of you can get together Okay, I think that they um, they want things to be back to how they were or um, they want to be more romantic towards you. Because there's definitely love here shared between you and this person, Pisces. And I don't get totally negative vibes um, between you and this person, even though you might have felt rejected by them. I do feel like they have good intentions towards you. It's just that whatever has been going on, this is just an opportunity, you know, for growth for the both of you, okay? For this connection to either, you know, um, for, for you and this person to stay, um, you know, together or to, you know, decide hey maybe this isn't for me or this isn't for us but from what i see so far it does look like you know um the two of you have something here so we have karma there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life okay so um i think this might have been you know some of the issue um some karma, okay, that this person had to, uh, you know, really face and address and go through. And as a result of them going through that, it appeared as if they were rejecting you, okay? So let's get one more message for you, Pisces. Wow, we have love your body let your beauty radiate out so again pisces with you feeling as if maybe this person rejected you or lost interest um you know spirit is saying to focus on loving yourself you know you are whole and adequate okay and um i think when it comes to talking to this person these are the things that you should share with them, letting them know that you felt rejected because of X, Y, and Z, or, you know, talking to them, you know, honestly about how you feel about them, but also how they feel about you as well. Okay. So Pisces, this has been your weekly reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.